I woke up um, after a big night out and I'd been on tour for 13 months. Um, I couldn't remember a day that I hadn't had at least a beer. And I just thought, I, I need to change. Something needs to change here. And um, I stopped drinking that day. Now I'm two years sober. But I definitely think fitness saved my life. 100%. My name is Lucy Spragan. I'm a singer-songwriter. I tour the world now. Um, I have had six top 40 albums. I, I'm a fitness enthusiast, 100%, and this is my story. So I first played a show when I was 12 years old, um, really had the bug for performing, even as a toddler. Um, I played shows from the age of 12 up until 20. Um, I toured America when I was 18. And when I was 20 or 21, I went on a very popular British TV show where I played a song about drinking, um, which was um, one of, it was the third most, fourth most watched video in the world that year on YouTube. The song that I sang was called Last Night or Beer Fear and it was about drinking a lot, which is something that I used to do a lot. Um, from a really young age, I just had a pretty terrible relationship with alcohol and my, my life kind of revolved around that. Um, and in 2019, 27th of July 2019, I woke up one morning and I said, I'm not drinking anymore, I'm not doing this anymore. And from then on has been this strange journey of being better, feeling better, and becoming completely obsessively passionate about fitness. When I was six months over, I went out to Vegas with some friends and we they'd been out all night. Obviously I wasn't drinking and I got into bed and I was exhausted. And there was a big time difference, so I was super jet lagged and I was lying in my bed looking at the ceiling and I had this weird feeling. I don't know where it came from, but it was almost like this voice saying, you need to run. And I've never run in my life, ever. I mean, I'm fitness or, you know, I'd never used to want to do PE. I've never, my, you know, my parents weren't active. And I just thought, Oh, okay. I put some shorts on and I ran out the door um, out of, I was in my friend's, my friend's house. And I ran out the door, I did a run, I ran 2.4K, I had my, my run on, I'd just downloaded the app. Um, and I got back and I, honestly, I've never felt so sick in my life. I just was like, I'm not, oh. I was like, literally thought I was going to be sick after only 2.4K. Um, and I said to myself, I'm just never ever gonna do that again. And then I did, the next day I did. The day after that, we went and stayed at a tiny house in the desert, right outside of Vegas. And I ran in the desert that day as well. There's something really magical about being outdoors on the mountains. And and I think I remember thinking, huh, oh yeah, this is all right. And the feeling that you get after running, it's something that never goes away. It's a total, it's exhilarating. And six weeks after that first run in Vegas, I ran my first 10K. And then six weeks after that 10K, I ran my first half marathon. And then <laughs> I've not stopped running since. I don't really know how I, had, I existed before without it. I, running is fundamental to my mental health, like for positive mental health. I started training pretty avidly every day. Um, and the more I trained, the more I thought, I don't really know enough about the fitness, like I want, I need to know more. It's there's something addictive about fitness and, and watching the human body change and knowing what's going to make a huge difference to your body. Um, and I, I really thought, hmm, I want to learn a little bit more. So I did a bit of research into who I could learn more with, and there came Future Fit training. There are places. There's no lie. There are places online where you can get your fitness qualifications really easily without learning a lot. Um, and that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to really properly learn. I didn't just want a qualification, I wanted to know things. So I looked for the most sort of thorough 
um, educational platform I could find and Future Fit was that. Starting the learning programme was pretty easy because it was all online and we were all confined to our houses. Um, but that's always been the way that Future Fit do it. So it's a really easy platform. It's something, it, it's actually, you can dip in and out of it. And that's what I did because when things started to come back to normal um, work-wise, I was able to sort of counterbalance between music and do my, my training. Um, I passed the training courses, the e-learning e courses with Flying Colours. Um, and I ended up doing my level two in Wilmslow, my practical, which I was, I've never been so nervous. I played Glastonbury twice and I swear down at that gym, I was like, oh my God, I'm so nervous. It all went really well. I passed my level two. I am in the middle of doing my um, mental health and wellbeing, um, which is attached to my course. Also uh, working with people with uh, COVID, long COVID symptoms. And um, I'm now going on to do my level three. I have plans for the future, not just to be a personal trainer because, I mean, I, the reason I wanted to do my personal training course was because I wanted to learn. Um, but I have uh, a, a business plan for uh, three, initially three gyms to open in the UK um, in the next few years. Um, and I didn't just want to be a person that opened up a gym. I wanted to be a person that is in fitness, who loves fitness. And I just want to share how I feel about fitness with other people and working with Future Fit and being able to get these qualifications is the first step of opening those gyms. It's really great to be practically shown how to do something because I think in the fitness industry, the way you learn is to see and do. Um, there's a lot of stuff that's just solely online is probably not going to work for somebody who is in an active role. So it was great. I met a bunch of great people who I'm, you know, friends with on Instagram now who, you know, have their own fitness goals. And it, it's really great. It feels like part of a community. One of the reasons for becoming a, a personal trainer was, as I've said, it's about learning for me because I used to feel really anxious walking into gyms that I didn't know. And that was for me because I didn't know how to do things in those gyms. So learning what exactly what I need to do, how I need to do it with Future Fit enabled me to be able to walk into any gym in the country and be able to feel confident enough to, to train in there. I think learning about fitness fully and knowing as much as I possibly can allows me to walk into a gym be fearless, get involved, get really stuck in, not question myself at all. You know, I know what I'm doing in there. I've, I've learned everything that I need to learn. And there's more to learn, but Future Fit has enabled me to walk in there and be fearless. Whether I'm with friends, um, whether I'm training with new people in the gym, I can make an impact on their training too. And it's not just mine. I can, I can help them with theirs. I can help program my friends and family, it, it's awesome. Uh, the, the impact is, is it's spreading far and wide. I am a musician, I am two years sober, and I am future fit.